Hello again, Johnny London here once more. Well, what was only going to be a night or two has turned into uh, a good few nights. It's been a great spot this. I've um, enjoyed watching some sunsets and I've also gotten a few jobs done on the boat. But now it's time for me to move on and I'm going to head down the way there to Norton Junction uh, from which I can tackle the uh, Buckby Lock flight. It's seven locks so hopefully if I team up with another boat it shouldn't take too long. Having said that, after an incredibly busy rush hour earlier there's absolutely nobody about now but as you know that can all change in a few moments. So anyway let's untie the ropes and get on and have a bit of a cruise. It's a warm day, but I still don a good sturdy pair of boots. Almost seems a pity to untie that one. Well, there I am congratulating myself on uh, how well my pins held. The ground here wasn't very good, it was a bit hit or miss, you know, you either come up against a rock or sort of a gap in between a rock, so it's all or nothing. In fact, the uh, little boat just down there at the back of the shop there, uh, this morning, um, I had to go and uh, tie him back on. He, was, uh, he only had two lines and one of them had come out and was in the water. And um, I don't like to interfere with other people's boats, actually, but, I mean, he was hanging on by one line, so... Um, you know, I had to go and uh, retie him, knock his pin in nicely and that. So um, if, you, um, if you're the owner of that boat and you see all the rope all different, that's why, because you, uh, you were nearly gone. <laughs> but um, people have helped me out a few times. I've come back and seen things moved about. But um, that's the way of the canal. It's, uh, you know, you've got to look out for each other. The wood that didn't make it onto the well deck is here and here. For today's cruise I'll head along to Norton Junction where I'll turn right and tackle the Buckby Lock flight on the Grand Union. I'll moor soon after. A nudge to the bow and I'm underway. Well, once I escape the grasp of the rather shallow bank That uh, bit of bank didn't want to let go, did it? A uh, bit of brute force from the engine and uh, just about managed to escape in the end. CRT workboats on the left. And here too. I'll stop here to top up the water. Well, 
Well, I have to say, I'll be very unlucky if uh, in the 20 minutes I'm spending filling up the water, I don't get a single narrow boat coming up behind me there to uh, join me on the flight. But we'll see, there's a few coming up at the moment, that's for sure. Well, sure enough, I've teamed up with uh, the boat that was coming along behind me and uh, I can see another one coming through now. It was just an unusually quiet lull for a minute, but it's all worked itself out. So uh, we're both in, uh, in the middle of doing the first lock. I'm locking down and uh, this one's a nice smooth lock, so uh, six more to go. After completing the first lock, I'm rewarded with an unusually beautiful stretch of canal. This bit, since that lock, it's like disappearing into another world. It's absolutely delightful. I'd love to have a house on the banks here. It's absolutely smashing. What a great mooring he's found. Two, or it's not its proper number but you know what I mean better go and close the gate at least I can make myself useful like this that lock is soon dispatched well, lots and lots of boats just then. Not very much space, a few overhanging trees. Um, but it's uh, turning into a very enjoyable afternoon at the moment. The scenery's first class. And uh, the other two on the boat I've sort of teamed up with to do this flight. We're working well together. So, uh, you know, it's warm and sunny. What's it look to like? Oh, that wasn't a stiff gate. 
or next lock, uh, enjoying this stretch very much. Sort of proper sun dappled stuff going on here with all that overhanging trees. And it's turned into a nicer day than I thought it was going to weather wise, so uh, that's all good. But uh, anyway, better get back to doing this paddle. Well, we've got a really good little system going. Um, I definitely prefer climbing back down onto the boat after I've locked rather than staying on the deck with the engine running. Um, you know, when I come off the boat, I always turn the engine off and just work it off the centre line, which, is, um, which has been no problem at all, actually. These locks are fairly gentle. And uh, really, it's, um, it's a perfect afternoon. What can I say? Oh, the things I'll do for you lot. <laughs> Ugh. I can leave the gates open as there is a boat waiting to go in. Well this one's uh, block 11. It's got a stiff old mechanism. No chance. Going to uh, have to pull the boat all the way through the lock on this one because um, the bows, the stern's out and it's nowhere near the steps so that'll be easier. So there we are, just did that one like they would have done back in the day, just uh, hauled the boat through on the centre line. These locks are particularly well set up to do that because they've got steps there and a little platform which is how they would have done it back in the day with the working boats. Sometimes you can't do that, it's best to check the lock first, there might have been uh, a steep drop or uh, a load of stinging nettles or something um, but that was the easier option on this occasion so to sort of um, to sort of do it how it works best for you really so that was lock 11 anyway and uh, before I float into the weeds I better go and man the helm and uh, go and meet the other two up there and uh, get cracking on that one perfectly all right to leave the gates open because uh, of course there's uh, a couple of other boats coming up from the lock just uh, ahead there so they'll be able to cruise straight in and uh, saves me nothing about here. I'll tell you what, it's turning into a hot old day, that's for sure. I wasn't sure if my centre lines would uh, still be long enough to do this actually, sort of uh, just hauling the boat through and sort of clearing the railings of the gates and things. It's obviously quite a deep lock, um, you know, because I lost a bit of them to the prop, didn't I? But it uh, seems fine actually. Better hop down there though. It's just a few yards to the final lock.
Well, this is the last lock of the flight, last lock for today for me, definitely. And uh, I can see just uh, beyond it there, uh, Wilton Marina, a place I know well. It's another stiff old mechanism. The other boat heads off. But I've still to climb back down the ladder. I pull into the marina services, but of course they're closed as it's gone 4pm. Another smooth landing. So I hop over to the other side to moor for the night. Well, I've decided to moor outside Wilton Marina. I can have a look around the Chandlery there tomorrow. And uh, it'll be like old times, because I used to come here to look at the narrow boats before I decided to have one built. Um, but yeah, a hot day in the end, but most enjoyable. <laughs>